Good morning, geometry students. Um, we are going to talk about similar polygons. So you can use proportions to identify similar polygons and solve problems using proportions of similar polygons. Um, so similar polygons have the same shape but not the same size. And we need to write this definition down. So, and the big thing about similar polygons, they're similar if and only if their corresponding angles are congruent. So the corresponding angles have to be congruent. And their corresponding sides are proportional. So go ahead and write down this example and I'll show you um, how we can tell if these are similar polygons. So notice that A is congruent to W. B is congruent to X, Y is congruent to C, and um, Z is congruent to D. So remember when we talked about um, congruent triangles when we were write, writing congruency statements, and I said over and over again, order matters. Well, guess what? That's coming back. Order does matter. So notice the color coding here. I don't know if you guys have highlighters or crayons or color pencils to color code this. That might be helpful. So we know their angles are congruent. That is given to us. So the corresponding sides are proportional. Let's show that. So remember, a proportion is setting two or more ratios equal to each other. So BC, I'm just lining up B and X are the same. Okay, notice here. And C and Y are the same. So BC, the order matters, over XY. Is that the same as AB over WX? Is that the same as DC over ZY? So DC, or excuse me, AB is 15, and WX is 5, DC is 21, and ZY is 7, and DA is 18, and ZW is 6. So are all of these proportional? And again, order matters. Notice I just have DA is congruent to ZW. Again, colors matching up. The order has to matter. Yeah, they all simplify down to 3 over 1. So these are proportional, or these are, and therefore these are similar polygons. So we can say this. We can write this similarity statement. Okay, so let's try this with some... Um, triangles. So I want you to pause the video, write this down. Before you write it down, it might be helpful for you to draw these in the same way, the same direction. So I'm just going to flip, not up and down. I'm going to flip left and right. Let's see if I can move it now. There we go. So notice it's the same um, way right here. Okay, so when you're drawing these from your assignment, you might want to do that. So I color coded this. Some of you remember um, back when we were doing congruency statements, some of you used like shapes like a triangle here, triangle here, and so on. You could do that too. Okay, but we, we're going to say angle F is congruent to angle J because in order for them to be similar the angles have to be congruent and this is what this is saying um, angle G is congruent to angle K and angle H is congruent to angle L so there we go we have all of our um, congruency um, angles written down now we got to write proportions of the sides. So we got to show that the sides are proportional. So here we have FG. So FG is going to be proportional to, keeping the order the same, if F and G line up, then guess what? J and K got to line up. Okay, so those are, the, those are proportional. And what about if I say FH? If I say FH, then what's going to line up if I have FH looking up here? Then I'm going to say JL. And JL is proportional here. Okay. And our last one here, GH, 
If I'm going to say GH here, keeping the order the same, if I'm going to say GH, then I got to say KO. Okay? And so there is our similarity statements or writing the proportional that relates the corresponding sides. And order matters. Order matters. Okay, moving on to our next concept. Scale factor. So over the ratio of the lengths, let me highlight this, the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding of two similar polygons um, is a scale factor. And I feel like I'm missing a word here. Let me see if I'm missing a word. Of the corresponding side, that might be helpful. Let me go ahead and put that in. The corresponding sides of two similar polygons is called the scale factor. So the ratio of the lengths. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and write this down. Alright, so notice when I wrote these out, I made them the same direction, the polygons, and I color coded them because that's very, very helpful. And what we're going to do is find the scale factor. So let me help you find the scale factor. So the scale factor of triangle ABC to XYZ, we have a ratio here, okay? So if we notice the ratio when we write this out of, oops, triangle ABC to triangle XYZ, well, we have six here and three here, so it's going to be three to six. So the scale factor is going to be 2. That's the scale factor. Okay. Now what if we said the other way? What if we, what if we wanted to know the scale factor of triangle XYZ to triangle ABC? Well, the ratio we have here, the scale factor, is 3 to 6, which is 1 to 2. So the scale factor is when we actually put the ratio and simplify it. Okay, we put the ratio together and simplify it. That's what the scale factor is going to be. Okay, and it depends on the order of comparison. The order of comparison. So again, order matters. So once you simplify that ratio down, that's going to be your scale factor of the sides. So you notice this kind of takes a while. This takes a while. Um, and so we're going to do another one together. Write it down, color code it if you have to. Draw it in a different direction if you have to. So go ahead and see if you can do this one. Okay, notice I went ahead and rotated this and I lined up my angles based on the arc lengths here, what's similar. And so now I can write a, um, or I can find the scale factor. So I'm going to find um, the simplified ratio. So if I want to say NP to RT is 15 to 12, okay, my scale factor is going to be, when I simplify that down, 5 to 4. And that should be the same for all of them. So NQ over RS 12.5, and a calculator is probably going to come in handy here. It's still going to be 5 to 4. Okay, and um, QP to ST is going to be 11.5 over 9.2. Again, 5 to 4. And we're going to keep that scale factor in ratio form, in fraction form. Okay, so your scale factor is 5 to 4, because some of you might have done a, a calculator um, and might have had a decimal, but we're going to keep that as a, as a uh, fraction. All right? Okay, for tomorrow. Try this one out. We're going to try this one first thing tomorrow, and enjoy. Bye-bye.